How's it going, everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. Screw the intro. Screw, screw. I'm, I'm done making that thing every single time. You are sick of watching and wasting 15 seconds of your life in a cool animation that I made specifically for this purpose. We're done. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Some, some of you are going to be happy about it. I'm going to be happy about it. All right. So, everyone. What I'm going to be talking about today is a practical use of the Expander plugin. What's the Expander? Nobody knows because nobody ever uses it. All right, Expander plugin. Then we're also going to be talking about how to get rid of a noise floor in a vocal track, which is huge. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. All right, so let's get right into the thick of it. All right, so as you can see, this track is basically all done, but it's missing something over here in the plugin line, and that's a compressor but I don't want to be putting a compressor on it. Why? Because look at this track. The waves, the waveform is very, very small. Whoever recorded this, not me, I promise it wasn't me, did not set the gain on the preamp correctly. And what happens is, the volume, the sound of the person's voice is not going to be very loud. And what happens is, they were, they were trying to do vocals in an imperfect room with hard walls. And what happens is, sound bounces all around that room all the time. Whatever happens, you moving, you rustling your clothes, if there's a fan going on, anything, it will, it will add to this noise floor and make this buzz, this hum, right behind your vocals. And it's very, very annoying. And most of the time, people just re-record it. Find a new room and just keep and and just re-record everything because it's very annoying but what you can do is if you need to just use those vocals because it was a freaking awesome take you can put an expander in the place of a compressor what does an expander do? an expander is the exact opposite of a compressor so why would we ever want to be using this? that's why no one ever wants no one knows what this plugin is it's because it's the opposite of a compressor and nowadays everything is compressed Every track is compressed to hell. Every song in the mastering stage is compressed to hell. Everything, all right? So why are we using this expander? And it's because the noise floor, which is the, what? okay, in a waveform, in an audio waveform, the peaks we can symbolize as the higher points. In this case, it's going to be our vocals. The depths, the valleys, are going to be the low parts, which is going to be, in this case, our sound floor. So what's going to happen, be happening is the expander is going to increase the hills, which is the good parts, the vocals, which we want to hear, and it's going to be decreasing the valleys, which is the noise floor, all right? So it's the exact opposite of a compressor, all right? And this is exactly what we want. So let's go and put a expander, an expander on this track. And when you look at it, it looks exactly like a compressor. Tack, release, gain, threshold, ratio, knee. If, if someone was looking at it and they've never seen Logic before, it looks like a compressor. But it does the exact opposite of it, all right? So in this application, I'm gonna have a low attack I'm also going to have a low release, all right? Now, I'm going to be editing three things, threshold, ratio, and gain. I'm going to be taking off this auto gain so I can manually go in and edit this gain. And then I'm just going to play this track, and I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to do the threshold, the ratio, and the gain until there is none of that noise floor left, all right? So let's do this. You had your revenge by being sacrificed. 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 You had your revenge. You. All right, computer, work for me today. Okay. So I have a low threshold, an extremely low threshold, negative 42 decibels. My ratio is also very low. I want everything, all of the depths to be cut out every time there is an uh, option. Whenever there is a point where it could be cut out, I want it to be cut out very quickly at a high, or at a very low ratio. But in this case, it's going to just cut out really quickly. All right. Um, the gain, I'm going to be taking a considerable amount out. Why? Because it's going to be doing the opposite of a compressor. It's going to be increasing the peaks. And when you increase the peaks, you're going to need to all you need to decrease the gain because you want each of your plugins to be volume transparent. 
Same volume before, same volume afterwards. So take out that gain however much it needs to be until the vocals sound about the exact same volume. And this can be played with over time. All right. So um, this is a very nice practical application of the expander plugin that nobody ever uses. All right. What are some other applications? Some other applications are number one, you can put it on a snare track to get rid of the bleed of the hi hat. You can play with that as much as you want. Similarly, you can do it on tom tracks to get rid of the overhead bleed through. All right, so you can cut out those things and have actual individual toms and snares. It's beautiful. So use that as you would like. Okay. Everyone, thanks for watching. That's about the gist of it. I think I went on a ramble for too long there, but whatever. Screw it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So please comment, rate, subscribe like a freaking best, and I will be seeing you very soon with some great new Logic tutorials. I have some awesome news coming up, some great new things that I've been working on. I'm excited to show you guys. But in the meantime, stay freaking best, and I'm going to see you soon. Peace out.